face value and face value face value so face value of the digit is the value of the digit in the number so the, for example we have taken any number 5 so uh, it is in ones place so the face value of the number is 5 itself if we take the number of 55 so 5 is in ones place and again 5 is in tens place so tens places the 5 the face value of this number is 5 itself when we take a different number 1 0 10 the face value of 1 is 1 itself so the face value means the digit itself so when we have taken that same digit and then we call that is face value let's see the place value a number gets its value according to its place in the number so the product of its digit that means face value and the value of its place is called the place value of the digit place value of the digit for example let's see so place value of the digit five at different places so we have taken example of five lakh fifty five thousand five hundred fifty five so let's see so this five is in one place five is in tens place again five is in hundreds place five is in thousands place and five again in ten thousands place five is in lakhs place so when we have taken this number the place value means it's in one place so one and the face value is the same digit as earlier we have discussed that is when we have taken a digit of a number and the number itself is called the face value and that is it what it contains the five itself is called the face value the face value and its place value is multiplying we get a number that is so that is five into one it's a one place so one and face value is five so when we multiply this both we get five so we call this as place value let's see for this one it is the face value of this number is face value of this number is five and it is in tens place so let's multiply this both the face value and and where it is standing the place so it is tens place so five into ten fifty so the place value of the number this number is 55 is 50 so so let's see the next one it is in hundreds place so multiplying with the hundred so hundred into the face value is five so five into hundred it's five hundred so the place value of this number is five hundred so next one so this is five again five we have in thousands place so five as it is we write and this is in thousands place so we multiply with the thousand then we get five into thousand so five thousand we get so let's see that next one so it's in ten thousands please so five into ten thousand so this is fifty thousand so similar manner we'll take this five and multiply with the place value of this number it says it's lakh it's one lakh so five into one lakh is five lakh so in this similar manner we find out the place value of the number so the place value of this number is five and this number is 50 and next one it is 500 and this is 5000 and 50000 and this is 5 lakh so in this manner we'll find out the place value of that number so let's see the next one by taking example we'll take some example so let's take an example we'll take a number 75249 it can be read as 75,249 so 9 is in ones place let's write this number in ones place by placing this all the digits in the place values chart so this 9 is in ones place 4 is in tens place 2 is in hundreds place 5 is in thousands place 
seven is in ten thousands please and this is whole number seventy five thousand two hundred forty nine so let's take another number eight lakhs forty six thousand three hundred and eighty nine so this can be read as eight lakhs forty six thousand three hundred and eighty nine so from this above table what you can understand that the so large numbers all the large numbers are separated by the periods so this is this is one period we call so this is thousands period two thousands are to this present thousand and ten thousand and this is lakhs period we call lakh and ten lakh is present in this so all the large numbers are separated by the periods so look at the apple place value chart and this and this ones tens and hundreds the three are the periods of ones that means ones period one tens ones tens and hundreds it is a ones period and when we observe this period it is thousand in ten thousand two periods are present in this we call this is thousands period and this is lakhs period this is lakhs and ten lakhs so the two uh, are present two place values are present in this lakhs and ten lakhs as so let's recall this ones tens and hundreds are in ones period and thousands and ten thousands it is in thousands period lakhs and ten lakhs it's in lakhs period so these all the numbers are separated by the commas let's see after the ones tens and hundreds we have place the comma and then after thousand ten thousand after we place the comma there so we separated this all the periods by the commas so after this period we have placed the comma after this period we have placed this comma so in this manner we can separate by the commas so easily we can find out the periods in that so let's see writing the numeral for the number n the place value chart helps to write the numerical correctly so write the following numbers let's take an example how to place this number and write correctly and place value chart so let's take an example 6,85,412 this is the number is given in words form so 6,85,412 is the number so we need to change this number and a numerical value and insert in chart so place value chart so next number is 72004 so this number is in words so this words we need to represent as a numerical value and place it in place value chart so let's see 412 that means it is 2 is in ones place and 1 is in tens place 4 is in hundreds place 5 is in 10000s place 8 is in so 2 is in ones place and 1 is in tens place 4 is in hundreds place 5 is in thousands place 8 is in 10000s place and 6 is in lakhs place so we insert this number the place value chart we can represent right very correctly here so next number is 72004 4 is in ones place 0 is in tens place 4 is in hundreds place 2 is in thousands place and 7 is in ten thousands place so in this manner we can represent this number and place value chart let's see the next one